I've created this very simple sketch, and now I want to add some structural members to it to make my first weldment from structural members. To do this, I'm going to come up to the weldments ribbon and select structural member. Next, I want to choose the standard. I'm going to work with ISO. What the type is. For this one, I want square tubing. And then I choose the size. And in this case, I want 50 mil by 50 mil with 3.2 mil wall thickness. So now that I've set up the standard and the size of my tube and shape, next thing I need to do is come out here and tell it where will the tube go. So I select the sketch entity. I'm just going to look at this isometrically. So SolidWorks has created this as group one. And by default, it's placed the profile of the sketch on the center of the sketch profile. So the center of the tube will follow my sketch entity. And if I want to add the next tube, I can just click this line and it'll add two. Because they're part of the same group, it automatically trimmed the tube for me. If I'm not happy with this, I can come down here and right click and clear my selections. And now I have none selected. So again, what do I do? I'm going to select this and it's part of a group. If I right click, I'll accept that. And I want to add the same structural member here. I can come back up, select structural member. It'll remember my previous selection. Select this entity and I'll select OK. And when I do this method, you'll notice the two pipes interfere. They're no longer trimmed. We'll fix that later using the trim command. And in a later video, we'll also look at what if I don't want the center of my tube profile locked to my sketch entity.